Today we're going to talk about the Blackmagic Sintel 2 scanner with the HDR gate. I had an opportunity to use this a couple times for some scans, but I never used the HDR mode. A little while ago I said, I'm going to try the HDR mode, it takes twice as long to scan, but I want to see what it looked like. And I was completely blown away by how good it looked. This material was scanned with the HDR gate and most importantly it was scanned twice so the first pass is everything totally normal and then it does another pass just for the blacks the black magic scanner isn't the best scanner in the planet everybody knows that it really is a telecine machine but the thing about it is that for 35 millimeter film for the fact that you can do it in real time and it has ptr rollers and it has really good registration and it has a really good movement and it uses black magic software I can't tell you how good the scanner is for 35 millimeter. It's not a finished scanner, but it could be used for finished work if you needed it to be with this HDR function. There is so much detail to be had in the stuff that's two and three and four stops under compared to a normal scan. You'll notice there is no fixed pattern noise in any of these shots. The black levels are really good. You don't see very much grain at all. You'll notice you don't see any digital imager noise at all. It's just a really nice image. I'm really impressed with the scanner and for the times that I've used it for other things like 16 millimeter and been completely unimpressed by it, using HDR mode has changed the world for me. Now take a look at this shot. This guy is in pitch black, literally pitch black. Your iPhone would never get this. But look, you can see detail on the carpet. You can see detail on his shirt. I mean, the amount of detail in this image is on par with shooting with an Alexa, except it's got much higher dynamic range on the top end, which is what's impressive to me because film, as we know, does have more dynamic range on the top end, but it's been the bottom, it's been the hindrance. And with an HDR scan, you can actually see more detail. Right now, we're gonna actually do a little bit of a color grade where it's actually gonna bump up a little bit and you can actually see what it looks like two stops higher. And you can see that with two stops, you don't see any fixed pattern noise all you see is more film grain, which is the way it should look. That's the way a scan should be. When you bring it up, it should be more grainy. So thanks for watching this quick little video. It's just brief. It shows you kind of what I've been shooting and kind of about how good this HDR scanner is. If you need more information, you can hit me up and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about it.